I got another video for you. you know what I mean, and, um, I've just been on this wide receiver DB animations a lot and um, interactions because, I mean, I feel like they improved a lot more in areas that we've been talking about, but this area is still lacking because the foot planning, running game, blocking, run blocking, pass blocking, a lot of defense, you know, consecutive hits. Uh, but, like, it's just a lot of stuff that's been addressed, you know what I mean? A lot of things have been addressed. I cannot lie about that. And we're only looking to go forward from here. <clears throat> and that's up to you. If you, you feel like it's, it's too late for all this, then that's up to you. If you feel like, you know what I mean? Because I feel like they're listening now. But um, some people just don't like the uh, the wait and the, the process of, you know, how they're listening and what's going on. So uh, what I wanted to talk about today is an area I feel like still need improvement. In which I have to show some when it's good. I have to show it. And I feel like this right here is something I have to show. The wide receiver DB uh, interactions on these hit drops. Cause, okay, let me break it down to you. Years past. Wide receivers would um on Heisman or All American, they would play, they would mirror your routes. On hitch routes, they would mirror it. They would, it's the difference between reading a route, jumping a route, and just damn straight out right, mirroring your movements and route running, everything. The DBs to do that. So here, this is not the case. I played it for you fast, so you go ahead and see. I don't want to talk you to death while I just sitting here looking at the camera. Okay. So let's see what happened when I speeded it up. Uh, let's see what happened when I slow it down. This is what happened when I slowed it down. Okay, the wide receiver tried to get position on him. He puts his arm on the guy. Okay, he puts his arm on him. That's a nice little touch. I mean, we're getting somewhere because I haven't seen that in years past on at the higher levels of the game. Maybe Ricky and varsity or, you know, pro and Ricky or whatever it may be. Okay, so he puts his arm on him. The footsteps are not synchronized to a point because, you know, he's putting his feet down while his foot is still up in the air. Before they even their down to their feet work was synchronized, that's how they used to mirror the routes. And I'm not saying it here. Okay, so here we go. Boom. He makes a hard stop. You see the wide receiver make a hard stop. The DB is lost. He turns around. He makes a play on the ball. Years pass. I didn't see this. What I saw before is this wide receiver, he slows down, makes his catch, and the wide receiver, the DB would turn around with me. You know what I mean? They, they, I don't see that no more. You know, they're not mirroring a lot of routes as I as I used to see, man. So they clean that up, but they got to keep going, baby. Keep pushing, keep improving because this game has so much potential. When I say this game got juices of potential, it's just areas of concern they need to touch up and fix and clean up, man. Hopefully this title won't come on out next year in the first year. I really wish Madden wasn't even coming out in the first uh installment of the next gen just wait man because it's gonna really be a port man they're gonna port this game over and a lot of people gonna be disappointed i'm like wow next gen is not this and that because it's really just gonna be a port the first year you're not gonna start seeing these games get deep in um the sports titles until maybe the second or third year in the in, gen, in um at uh consoles okay here we go he stops boom he makes the play he get tackled see that's what i like man and now they even respect the foot plant of the wide receiver when he stops to make his, you know, the grass is coming up. He makes a hard stop on a ball. You didn't see that before, man. You didn't see this. And you definitely didn't see the wide receiver. He, I mean, the DB overplayed. He just lost. He turns around. He make a play on the wide receiver. And you see people blow coverages, blow routes. Uh, DB's just playing all wrong. And you see that in the NCAA. You see that in the NFL, man. So I'm not mad about this part right here with the DB. He's seen the guys. He's seen, okay, he's stopping. He makes the turn. He cuts back around. He come back. Let's see the safety read and react. The safety is backing up. He's making the play plan over the top. The ball has been released. Look at the safety. Look over here at the wide receiver. He's coming over. And he makes a plant. He comes over. So I'm telling you, a lot of foot plan have been corrected. The foot plan have been, like, you know, a lot, you know, corrected. It's like they took the FIFA engine or something. I don't know. And he comes over. He makes a play on the ball. That's, that's what I want to see, man. I want to see me be able to work the DBs and work the defense, man, not have to, have to be cheated. So that's why I say enjoyment over frustration this year. And you know I got to give you the full play blown out. Give you the full play blown out. DB has his arm on him. He's beat. Boom, boom. He makes his play. He comes back. He makes the daggone tackle. That's what I want to see, man. You know what I mean? Fundamental football, man. All right, man. That's uh, Tell me what you think, man, and I'm out, man. Peace.